In this video, we're going to look at this device. This is a high voltage spark generator, as you saw in the last clip. But what I use it for is an engine ignition substitute. Now this device could generate a spark at a certain frequency that will fire up and run an 8 cylinder engine. Okay, here's the scenario. It's a nice sunny day and you decide to take your 73 Camaro out for a drive. So you go out and you pick up your buddy and you're driving around and you come to an intersection and your car dies. You try starting it, it won't start. So you get out and you check under the hood and you find that there's no spark. So that could be a lot of things. It could be your ignition switch, it could be the power to the coil, it could be the coil itself, it could be the condenser or the points inside the distributor. So what you do, you pull, out, pull off the existing wire off the center post of the distributor and you attach the wire from the output of the spark generator hook up the plus and minus to the battery and fire it up and this device here the ignition engine ignition substitute will put out a, a spark at a frequency that will fire up and run uh, an eight cylinder engine now this device will work on cars from the 60s, 70s and 80s that have a distributor with the high voltage terminal in the middle of the distributor cap now the GM HEI, will, it will not work on that because the coil is in the cap and the high voltage um, output is actually inside the distributor itself. So you're only going to basically be able to work on the older cars that have a distributor uh, similar to this. Okay, here's the schematic for the engine ignition simulator. Now the heart of the circuit is a 555 timer and it's running as an unstable multi vibrator and with the resistor and, and capacitor value seen here it will generate an output from pin 3 to a waveform similar to this with a duty cycle and frequency calculated to fire and run an 8 cylinder engine now this waveform is fed into the transistor and when the output of, of the 555 timer pin 3 is high between here and here the transistor will be on and will energize the primary side of the coil through the positive of the battery terminal through the 2.7 ohm resistor through the coil transistor and ground now the dwell times between here and to here which gives enough time for the magnetic field to maximize then it will shut off the transistor will shut off the magnetic field of the primary will collapse causing a high voltage spike on the secondary which will give you your spark. Now there will be a back EMF at this time from the primary side and that's where the condenser comes in. It will take the brunt of that. So basically that's the circuit. The transistor 2N6388 is a Darlington transistor and you need a heat sink on there because it's going to get warm. And if you want to run this, uh, if you want to run a four cylinder vehicle on this, you have to change the resistor and capacitor values because on a four cylinder the, the frequency will be lower. So this circuit is designed to run on a, on a, on a V8 engine and you'll need some modifications to run it on, on a four cylinder. The diode up there, the 1N4007, is just a reverse uh, polarity protection in case you uh, cross the wires on, on, the, on the battery when you hook this thing up to the battery it'll protect, it'll protect the circuit. So that's basically the circuit for the engine ignition simulator. Here you can see the circuit board that drives the coil. There's the transistor and if you look closely you can see the 555 timer chip. And there is the condenser out of uh, an automotive distributor. And on the back side here there's your 2.7 ohm 20 watt resistor.